Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Owls have put a stranglehold on the number one spot in the polls. This team has maintained its focus. They've remembered the hard work, the effort, the energy, the dedication they put in way back in the summer that gets them to this point. And you just get a feeling that they're not about to have a face plant now. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Ratliff from the three. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Well, the crowd has been waiting for him all day. Austin's big playability about to be on display in front of the home crowd here. He's set to take his first snap as he brings the offense out, Kurt. And, Brad, this kid's reputation precedes him. The entire offense is designed around him. As his performance goes, so will his team. So let's see what he can do in front of this big crowd. Just a complete leader. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. And down he goes at the 42. Rice has got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 17-yard line. A run like that usually ignites the offense. See if they can stay on a roll. Throws, and it's incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From the 17-yard line, second down. Watch 35, watch 35. Williams takes a handoff. Tackle after decent pickup. Williams gets about four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Set him up with a first and goal. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. Get to the tailback. And they'll bring him down the line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From the four-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Rice! And he 
converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. And for Oklahoma State, they've now dropped three in a row. The roll by 19. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. King fakes the handoff. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 32. He zips one over to the right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. They come out on an empty backfield. He's tackled at about the 49. Second and seven. Ball on the 49. Man, two, Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. Lewis makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Grant is waiting for the snap. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And off, and he's met immediately. No That makes it second and ten. Rice up seven points. Check, check. Blue light. He's got it with room to run. And he tackles him hard. It's the 36 yard line. About the 39 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the out there. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. And that's going to happen sometimes. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. That's right, man. They don't want it. Cal! Right, alert, alert! Bruin, Bruin! Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Hey, set, blue 19. And he is drilled at the 
38. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. Rice is up seven. He'll keep it on the ground again. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. And for Williams, he may have been seriously injured on that play. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Owls with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Play 13 of the current drive. 18 play, 82-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that. The defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Smith gets set to kick this one away. The Owls had one of their key guys go down earlier. It looks like he might be able to return. And down he goes at the 32. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. hard lately on this fundamental. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. And 
he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. From the 44 yard line. Second down. Mike 55, Mike 55. 10 20, 10 20. Go, motion, motion, motion. Catches it, and that's all. That makes us three. tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. three-yard line about three yards that time on the screen this was just a little dump off pass to the halfback but it was very well defended keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield so the field goal unit is on the field they'll try for three points Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick throw, and down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Hamilton gains seven yards with a catch there. It's a good play call. A quick, safe pass to a sure-handed receiver. That keeps the drive alive. Goes quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From their own 39 yard line, it's second down. Caught out of the open. Tackle at the 48 yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Pressure coming and the ball is loose. It's scooped up and it's a lineman that's got it. Rice is going to take their first time out of the half. Ratliff awaiting the return. Oh, that one. 
Houston's play so far, Kirk, is really what we expected. I mean, I don't think we're shocked at all at how well he's playing right now. Isn't it fun when a plan comes together for an <laughs> offense? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and speaking as a quarterback, I mean, it, it, this guy has really gone out there and executed this plan. Now, there's still a whole other half to go, but up to this point, he's made good decisions, he's taking care of the football, and he's leading this team. And that's really all you can ask him. He's tackled at the 36. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Five wide. Quick pass. That's a great tackle at the 11-yard line. And he's level at the three. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. 17 to nothing, Owls. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. Find Reese, these ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Daniels from the five. He's out to the 30, the 50, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Texas! That was some play by the special teams. the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Let's get you up to date on some games that could really wreak havoc on the BCS standing. And for Arkansas, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. And for Pearson, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. The Razorbacks on top, 14-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Texas, to kick this one off. McRae from the four, across the 30, and he's taken down at the 35. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He's 
taken down around the 48-yard line. down now and they need to get it inside the 45. Quick throw incomplete one of his receiver and that will make it fourth down. On third down the defense was expecting the pass and they played very well in the secondary. The punt upcoming and they're going to come after this one. It's a short kick. Austin kept his cool after a bad first half, Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, uh, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle. He got his teammates on the same page and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable. And his talent, I think, is through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. And they push him out at the 39. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires back quickly. made at the 46-yard line. Gain of seven on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. And he tackles him hard at the 49. Yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 41. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it. Rock down around the 39 yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 39. Go four, three, nine. Strike to his receiver, no good. Here's the eighth play of the series. to try to go for it. He's wrapped up for the sack. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Second 
He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. Him hard at the 33. Two yards. That makes it second and eight. And he's immediately tackled. it out to maybe the 13 yard line that's good for a gain of two yards that'll make it second and seven and now he's got room to run and that sets them up for the first and goal First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They'll knock him down for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend, but that time it was well played by the defense. And this play is number eight on the drive. the extra point. A nine-play, 55-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 24-7. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. Three down and one to go. The Owls lead it by 17. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. tackled at about the 45. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Gets rid of it quickly. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. If the wide receiver, if he's smart, can come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Over the middle to his tailback. 
and they make the stop at about the 41. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. In the shotgun and five wideouts. No, incomplete. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going forward on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost impossible lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He goes right around the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He might have a chance. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. on the extra point. So a short three-play, 42-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Rice on the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Owls defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Caught out in the open. Tackle at the 29-yard line. With the tackle at the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball in the 29. Dumps it complete to the halfback. Over the middle. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Get up, get up, get up. Less than three minutes in the game. Tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he drills at the 47. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Red two. Looks middle. Got his back. Buckler picks him up six yards with a catch. That will make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Yeah. 
He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And he's leveled at the 25-yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. Check, check. Bring up second and three. Check 26, check 26. Just two to go in the game. First down grab. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 18-yard line. That makes it first From the 18-yard line. First down. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Back five, back five! Hey. Passes it to the middle of the field. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. Any offense is pretty being able to move efficiently like this. The Longhorns taking their first time out of the half. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Check four, check four. I got one, I got one. Three, nine, three, go. Zips it over the middle. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. They'll give it another go. So the play of the day. Fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? We have less than a minute to go. Nice run there. Finley comes away with five yards on the carry. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 22. to the 40. He finally goes down. 47-yard line. Wow, that was some run. It's worth the price of admission just to see this guy get into the open field. Rice's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.